I think one of the biggest things that's been missing from how black men and women are treated is uh, a push for legislation change. For me, I have a public policy background, so I think it's now we have to push to influence policymakers, you know, change the policies that are really shaping our world, our communities, and having a huge impact on how black men and women are treated. My grandfather passed a few years ago. He was an AME bishop. You know, when I talk about my grandfather, I always tell people he was a, a giant amongst men because he had a level of focus and a level of passion for black people and helping others. So I have the John Hurst Adams named after my grandfather, and it focuses on uh, giving kids, uh, you know, in Indianapolis and Atlanta, opportunities to a high quality education. For these kids in these cities that we're trying to impact, they might be traveling to uh, Central America, to Latin America, or just traveling, going to a museum, going anywhere outside of your school or outside of your network that you usually wouldn't, just so you can have that experience. My grandfather, he really founded the pride that our family, that my family has in education. Um, not only in bettering yourself, but allowing opportunities for others to, to have an excellent education as well.